good. How are you? How are you? I'm hanging in, hanging in. <laughs> awesome. So I, like I got the background there. Yes, I had to. It's it's, it's the poster, <laughs> you know. I gotta gotta promote the movie while I'm doing the interview. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I watched the visitor and I could not take my eyes off of it. It kept me intrigued. <laughs> I kept what you know, it just kept the story kept going the way it was going. It just I was like, I had to see this through the end to see what would happen. And it was such Thank a great you. job on this movie. Thanks so much. I'm glad you liked it. So how did you come up with the project, this film? Um, well, this film actually is the first movie that I directed that I didn't write. Um, so uh, I wasn't you know, with it from the inception. That uh, goes credit for that goes to the writers, um, Adam Mason and Simon Boys. Uh, and you know i it was it was sent to me evidently uh adam had seen um we we share uh, uh managers and, and adam had seen my first on the dark and um thought i'd be interesting for this um and so they sent me the script and um you know i was i was i was very intrigued i thought it was it was really interesting and um it sort of uh invoked for me uh like rosemary's baby and wicker man which are two of my favorite films uh horror films and um so you know it also i i tend to like films that are playful with structure um you know or try to do something a little different and um and uh this this did it sort of it felt like it started as almost like a haunted house movie or it had elements of that and then it started to get more in the, like the folk horror realm um you know with the creepy town and everything and so yeah i mean it was it was just uh, i was i was really intrigued and excited and i thought i could bring something you know to it um and so there here we are yeah and one thing yeah you mentioned all these different movies that were influenced i thought of straw dogs in a way considering the two protagonists hmm. uh, both um Robert and his wife, you know, she's from mm -hmm. the American South and here he's a British man who comes, you know, right. from London. I thought of Straw Dogs the same way it was where you had Dustin Hoffman's American guy in Britain with his wife. Yeah. I, I kind of felt I had that little like invocation with it as well. You know, I thought of that's mm. the, I merely thought of straw, straw Dogs. But then as the film progressed, I did, I did notice the elements there where it was becoming more like wickedly insane and you know it was but i gotta say though i'm like finn jones has had a share of you know good roles and roles that you know people question but i gotta say this has to be one of the best things he's ever done because he just brought oh, this nice. this intensity to the role of robert what was it like working with him oh it was great um i mean i think intensity is a good word it's also he uh he was, you know, from the very beginning, we had a, a nice conversation when he was considering the project and we really sort of, um, I think, felt like uh, we could, you know, had a good, uh, we both had a, had a similar sort of communication, um, you know, uh, and, and met eye to eye as far as the kind of thing I wanted to make. And, um, you know, he was, extremely motivated and, and prepared every came every day had ideas you know um and uh you know would, would even help and sort of he you know really dig into scenes beforehand and kind of say you know give give feedback on sort of how he might see it differently um and you know and, and one of the one of the major things for me um that is great is you know my 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 favorite thing about filmmaking is this is the these moments of discovery you know i do a lot a lot of prep before i make a film but then why i do that is it allows me to sort of be a bit looser on set and tr try to find things that i didn't foresee happening um and that's you know comes through collaboration and um and so having an actor who's sort of game for that you know to find things in the scene um is is always really exciting and um so yeah it was great to work with him and jessica mcnamee was really great as well um you know yeah, here, she is, here she is coming fresh off like you know mortal Kombat. she's gone from mortal Kombat to this and her character really intrigued me because 
here she is, this like nice, you know, American, you know, she's like kind of questioning, you know, the inheritance and everything. But then it's like she gets more she, as the film goes on. Mm -hmm. We're kind of learning more about her as well, not just Robert, but her. And I feel like with that, I'm not going to spoil it, but when the big, the, when the discovery, when everything is all said and done, I was, my mouth literally dropped to the floor. And it must have been a, it must have been great working with her too. Yeah, it was really important to us. You know, I mean, for me, it was one of the things, you know, when I read that script and I read the script and I got to that moment and everything, it was really eye opening to me. And it made me start thinking about her character. Um, and I, you know, I, I actually had a lot of empathy for her and um, and her, you know, her arc and her situation. Um, and so I, I always I did kind of approach the movie a bit like a two hander. You know, I, I really um, I didn't want her just there in service of him. You know, I wanted I, I wanted to make sure that her story like she was able to um, have a voice in it um and uh and so jess and i worked hard to, to kind of bring that out yeah they both brought like the chemistry together and you know they had get, great chemistry yeah. yeah they did especially when um when he's like kind of distant towards her she thinks because she had the miscarriage and he he's all like you know all up at him. no it's not the case and you know it, it seems so natural it's so, like so fluid where it, you know sometimes you see it forced and it just doesn't pan out well but in this case I think it worked out really well. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad. So how long did shooting take? And um, what were the challenges that you faced during production? Uh, I'm trying to think. So shooting was, um, it, I, I can't remember the exact amount of days. It was in the 20 something, early 20, 21 maybe mm -hmm. uh, days or something like that. Um, but there were, there were quite a few challenges with the shoot. Uh, we, so we shot in New Orleans. Um, and right before we were about to gear up into production, a hurricane, a, a pretty big hurricane hit. This was back in, um, August, September of, of last year. Um, and so that pushed us back quite uh, almost, I can't remember if it was a three weeks or a month. Um, and then we finally were able to get back and get, you know, uh, get our bearings, but, but the house, which is actually the external exterior house we used. Uh, had massive, massive damage inside. Oh, and wow. so we had to find another house interior that we could use to sort of match the exterior. Um, so, there, you know, there were, there was that challenge. Uh, there were, you know, it was obviously during COVID. And um, so, so there were, there were some uh, issues there. And then um, uh, there was also a, the threat of a, of a strike, <laughs> of a yeah. crew strike at some point. We're not just not, specific to our movie it was it was a it was a union yeah. thing um so there were there were there was um you know there was we we had trouble finding extras because of covid um, we had trouble finding a baby because of covid um that was pretty important to this film um so that yeah i mean there were there were a few, <laughs> there were a few there yeah were a few hiccups but but it was it was a lot of fun i mean that's a lot of you know a lot of making a lot of the fun of making films is the problem solving aspect of it Exactly. And I think overall, this, this is a great film and I hope people will get to see Thank it. You. I know it's coming on demand and digital this Friday and then mm -hmm. it's going to Epics in December. So is there anything next from you that you can talk about that's on the horizon? Uh, well, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm always working and trying to, uh, you know, it's what I love to do. So I'm, I'm always, if I'm not directing, I'm writing, you know, or I'm reading uh and and you know so i have a few different projects that are in different stages of development and um uh, a, a limited uh horror series that i'm working on um but nothing that's going imminently so but nothing worth you know <laughs> mentioning quite yet <laughs> well that's, that's all good so uh the visitor will be out this friday on demand and digital and those yeah. who love a good full car meets you know madness the small town horror will definitely want to see this one especially because i think this was finn jones is like one of the best movies he's ever done and justin uh, you did a great job as a director and i can't thank wait you to thank you thank you very much all right i mean you take care and stay safe you too nice to meet you see you here bye-bye bye, -bye. Bye.